What is happening guys, welcome back to another vlog, um, I haven't done a real one or a vlog in a while because uh, I've been out doing some real flying, um, but today uh, I've managed to get, a friend of mine sent me a link to a Icarus C42 in flight sim and I've managed to get it up and running so um, for those of you who don't, don't know the C42 is a microlight aircraft, it's one that I've done and do all my real flying on. Um, and I just want to see how it reacts to the real thing. So I've got my C42 checklist here in front of me. Uh, we're flying out the Irish Paratrooper Club where I spent a lot of my time um, growing up and done many a flight out of there. Uh, so I know the circuit and stuff, so I thought we'd do that. We're perhaps a planet's part on a sky van, which is quite cool. And if you look across the way, a couple of other little micro lights and another sky van. And another part, a turbine 206. So this is the C42. Quite a nice airplane, she's powered by a, you can have two variants, we've got the Rotax 912 version which is the 80 horse which is what I love and we have the Rotax 912S which is the 100 horse. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump in, put your belt on, now we're going to shut the doors. Brilliant. Right, so let's go down the checklist, so first thing is putting the brakes on, parking brake is on. Fuel valve, so if you look down here, be beside the pilot's right leg, fuel valve is here, and it's on, fantastic, so as you can see throttle here between your legs, centre stick, and we've got a lever up here for the flaps, so as you can see throttle's there, perfect, okay, so now we're going to go all switches off, all switches are off, I can confirm, then we're going to go to car repeat, which is this here, that's also off, we're then going to go for the master switch, so we're going to flick the key here, I'm going to record the hobs over here. Once the master switch is on, we're then going to go for the auxiliary fuel pump for 10 seconds. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. We're going to knock that off then. Once we've done the auxiliary fuel pump, we're going to go for both mags on. I'm now going to have a good look around and I'm going to make sure that nobody is around which you're not, I'm then going to confirm that my throttle is set to close, which it is. Um, if I need choke, I don't think we're going to need choke today, but if I need a choke, I would do it. I'm then going to press this, and I'm going to show clear prop. And I'm going to push that down. So, the Rotax has kicked into life, which is always a good sign. So now, we're going to go over here, we're going to stick this strobe on. Strobe is on, choke is off, we can use it, and then I'm going to knock the radio on. Perfect. Radio is set. One, two, three. Yep, brilliant. Where are we going? I'm just letting the engine come up. We're going to do radio on transponder. We're going to set them to seven thousand. Zero and seven thousand. Brilliant. Now we are finally there. Fantastic. Coding flap we have open because it's going to be a warm day. And then the BRS safety pin, which is the ballistic reserve chute. Uh, and we haven't got one, it would be in this vicinity here. So while we are waiting for an engine to warm up, just do a quick check. So around the box that goes up, that does what it's meant to do, back right that goes up, that does what it's meant to do, same for there, step down, back across here, so everything works as it should. Right. Flaps, we're going to take our flap lever, set that wants to, doesn't want to. So we've just gone full flap, have a look. Now I'm just going to release the stage. Stage one. 
brilliant. And I'm gonna leave him a stage one. T's and P's all look good, so I'm gonna start my taxi here now. So release the brakes, gonna add a bit of power on. Just make sure our wingtip's clear because that's an expensive airplane to hit over there. Brilliant. So I'm just gonna taxi up here. So as you can see, we got a bit of a hard stand here. That's why I'm gonna do my run-ups. For a second, all T's and P's are good, so I'm going to put the brakes back on. And then I'll bring up the power to 4000 RPM. set on this but we'll see what it flies like so there we are pointing down runway 27 and that's a half power three quarters full power watching the rpm max rpm reached waiting for that Set for about 4,000 RPM, 4.2 to cruise in this thing. Um, Nothing going for the downwind. So the downwind. Yeah, so far, everything seems okay. Um, the other problem is just the just the, the trim. Really, I have a lot of back stick.
yeah, there's a lot of back pressure needed for this just because the trim's out. So now that we 
down checklist. This brakes off, or on I should say. Switch radios off, which is don't need just done. Responders off, fantastic. For some reason on this sim you switch the radio off, transponder goes off and it doesn't usually work like that on it. Uh, fuel pump's off, strobe is off. So we're gonna check 2000 RPM. Go to idle, then gonna go over here, we're gonna take the hubs again from here. Which is what we've flown, what the engine's reading, and then we're gonna do one, two. That shuts it down. And then if we had one, we'd insert the pin into the ballistic again. And take the key out of that and jump out of the aircraft. So there we have it guys, my initial thing is is it Everything inside the cockpit works, engine startup, everything is, is just like the real thing. Um, there's just a little bit of flying characteristic in it, which put the trim down, um, trim stuck down for some reason. Um, that's just a little bit different with it, but apart from that, everything seems to everything seems to, to work out okay with it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.